Hey everyone, um, as promised, I have a little mini lecture um, just expanding on uh, the inquiry presentation. And as I mentioned, um, in order to clarify the inquiry presentation, um, I think it's helpful for me to show you the first iteration of the, the assignment, which was an inquiry paper. Remember, you are only making a presentation. However, you want to represent the kind of information that we see in these papers. But again, these papers are going in depth in a way that you're, you shouldn't be going into in your presentation, um, but you will be going into like in this kind of form in your position paper. So let's look at this example. The student um, chose to write on mass incarceration um, and titled it as a question, Mass Incarceration or Modern Day Slavery. Um, so <clears throat> they start in the black community, the question of whether or not US justice system is built against us has been a revolving question for decades. Josephine Ross, noted, note, right? We already see someone being quoted. The writer of From Slavery to Prison in uh, Rinkit Tinkit Oz states, quote, the United States currently leads the world in incarceration rates. The unprecedented incarceration rates are exponentially higher for black men than any other group. Black men and women are thrown in jail at a higher rate than any other race. But is that a result of slavery and racism, a problem within the black community that we must fix or a combination of both? Okay, so we see this is the research question. Um, the issue that the student is interested in is mass incarceration. This is the specific aspect of mass incarceration that they're interested in exploring. On one side, it is believed that the current US justice system is a product of slavery and is designed to prevent black Americans from making progress in the United States. On the other side, many think that there is just a lot of crime and poverty within the black community and that our problems with the U.S. prison system is a result of our own turmoil. It is a commonly believed stereotype that a lot of black people are quote unquote thugs and involved in gangs which would make them criminals. But in my experience, that is not the case. Um, in my personal experience of being black and growing up around black people, no one I know or am related to are involved with any kind of violent gang. And it is a very small percentage of that black community that is. Is the mass incarceration of black people a result of racism and the crooked justice, US justice system, or is it a problem of the black community? And so here, as um, we saw in some examples in the class, um, uh, this student um, inserts themselves into um, this int introduction, showing why they're, they're interested in, in this topic. Um, and um, so that's something that you can do in your presentation. You don't have to, but um, you know, that's a method that lots, lots of students have used um, in these inquiry papers. So uh, moving on, the student here starts one debate on the issue of mass incarceration is whether or not only black people are being targeted or if it is all people of color. Look, we see here Gilmore. We see another name being being referenced here. According to Kim Gilmore, in Slavery and Prison Understanding and Understanding the Connections, what's known as today's US prison prison system has been evolved from slavery. In her article, Gilmore talks about the legacy of slavery, prison expansion, the convict lease program, black codes, and Jim Crow laws. The convict lease program, as stated by Gilmore, still force black men and women who are prisoners to do hard labor on farms because they seem more suitable than white prisoners. Um, note how she's very clear about her author tagging. It's very clear that this is coming from Gilmore. Um, I'm going to skip uh, down here because I'm going to, you know, I'm posting this online so you can see the whole thing, but I just want you to get a sense of, of again, like what is supposed to be in this inquiry project. Um, so we see now over here, we have another name. We have this guy named James Kilgore, the writer of Mass Incarceration, Examining and Moving Beyond the New Jim Crow. 
right? So he says, so she says, James Kilgore disagrees with Gilmore. Okay, so now the student is not only showing us, you know, uh, c content and opinions, but it is starting to compare um, experts with each other. He argues that people like Michelle Alexander, who wrote The New Jim Crow, who is another expert, um, who believe that mass incarceration allows a new kind of racial oppression only against black people are missing the big picture. Kilgore believes that racially motivated laws like the Jim Crow laws play a big factor in what today's U.S. prison system is. But you should take all races, ages and genders into account if you want to accurately talk about what mass incarceration really is. Kilgore even goes to sit goes to say that, quote, mass incarceration has been an assault on the poorest elements of the working class. This layer of the population has been driven into the category of, quote, criminal by a combination of economic necessity, social decay, media manipulation, har harsh sentencing law, uh, laws, and intensive police repression inspired by racially based biased policies. Rather than just one race, Kilgore believes an entire social status is targeted by the unfair U.S. justice system. So you see how she's saying um, Gilmore is talking about how um, uh, the the black community is targeted by an unfair justice system, whereas Kilgore has a different a, a different take on the problem of unfair um, uh, justice systems in the U.S. Okay, so he believes that um, it's it's not just one race. Okay, so, um, uh, and I'll just, I'll just show you this one more example, um, just so you can see again how the student is incorporating the experts. Um, another factor that could be the cause of the mass incarceration of black people is black on black crime and or gang violence. In Toward Fewer Prisoners and Less Crime by Mark A.R. Kleiman, he states regarding homicide that even though black people represent less than 15% of the U.S. population, black people are convicted for more than 50% of the murders. If only the homicide rates are this high in the black community, not even including other more felonies, then it makes sense that black people would be occupying most of the jails across the United States. The argument for those who do not believe black people are unfairly thrown in jail is that black people inflict their own unfortunate relationship with the United States um, prison okay so we see she's bringing in more more information um from climbing uh talking about the the debates okay um so as i said the the kind of content that you want in your presentation is precisely what this paper is doing um but again not as in depth because your presentation is not going to be longer than around five minutes. Um, this student does a really, really great job of outlining for all of us, including me, because I'm not an expert on this topic, um, the the debate right that that exists within the scholarly community about this particular topic. So she is informing us about the intricacies of this problem and this issue. And that's what you wanna do. Ultimately, by the end of your presentation, you, your audience should have, be more informed about the issue that you're talking about. And more informed when I say, it's not simply telling them about, oh, hey, there's this issue going on, right? more informed in an academic way. So knowing what um, scholars are saying about this, what what the debate is in the scholarly community. So I'm gonna stop right now because uh, it's almost 10 minutes into this lecture and um, I tried this before and it was longer and the thing just like died and my computer didn't like it. So I'm gonna stop now. Um, I hope that was helpful. I will be posting a number of examples online and um, yeah, so bye.